All right, so this is me assembling the rack for the Roland TD27 KV2 E drum kit. And I sped this thing up um, because it took me a long time. But as you can see, if you see all those little sticky notes, I like to match uh, because these don't come labeled. So I look at the instructions and see how each piece is numbered, figure out what it is, put a sticky note on it with that number. And for me, it just helps me to assemble everything quite a bit faster. So, you, you know, you just look for the number. You don't have to look at each part and think, does this look like the one in the picture? Because you've already done that part. So I've assembled a ton of uh, e-kit racks um, in my time. So this is something that I do that really helps me out. I did notice that with the Roland rack, this is the sturdiest a rack that I've ever put together. I have put together racks from Simmons and from Elisis and from Mendini and uh, from Donner. So quite a few different ones. And this thing is super solid. The metal is strong and thick. Uh, the brackets, though they are plastic, are very high quality plastic. So they're strong as well. Um, as far as how you're going to end up keeping this you don't want to tighten down uh the arms where, where you know how this let's say this is in three sections the center and then the two wings you don't want to tighten down completely those wings because you're going to want to be able to adjust those once you would uh, put your uh, your toms and your symbols you want to be able to move that around a little bit to fit your perfect setup but it took me a while to do this, but I think it looks great, and I love this drum set. Thanks.